somebody here? Oh, hi. Hi there. Um, I was just uh, <laughs> messing around, uh, waiting for iron to drop. And uh, over here we have the iron farm collection area and the portal and the thing for the poppies and lava and an item elevator that is well it's 710 friendly so it it works for 710 however it does not work in the newer versions of minecraft but that's okay um what i'm going to show you today is all the projects that I'm working on currently and trying to get ready for the big move to 111. Um, going from 17 to 111 is a huge jump for this world and it's going to happen in a single click so it's not going to be that big a deal for the world but it's going to be a big deal for us because a lot of things are going to change in the way things are and I have to prepare for that so like there are going to be things that I want to update like our iron farm here will no longer work so I have made a silo and I'm trying to run it as much as possible collect enough iron that I won't have to worry about making beacons and stuff like that beacon pyramids in the new areas that I develop and you know territories that I open up in 111 and um, it just there's gonna be a lot of changes for the better um, most of this stuff outside of spawn chunks won't change, but there's a lot of stuff with spawn chunks that has to change. So, okay. Um, the biggest thing is, of course, the iron farm. The next biggest thing is the way that things are collected, like item elevator things have to be changed so that they will work in 111. Now this has an old style um, item elevator that is simply you know water fed water streams but the newer ones are going to be changed over so that they work on a piston and most people think oh translocation doesn't work yeah well you're not using the piston for translocation you're using it to move items into the glass which then do does the same thing that they did before they just rise so getting a reliable item elevator depends on a lot of timing issues using pressure plates and items running across pressure plates to activate that piston system so you want a delay that allows all the items to be flushed at once uh, so you don't get that bug and with recent developments that Osrith Clay and I have to you know figured out the water stream goes clear to the end where the items need to be resting and puts them there so no matter what you do when the piston goes up and the glass puts them into the block where the item elevator elevates uh, there is no problem so there really is no timing issue that needs to be solved. Everything is solved. Um, the only difference would be if Mojang were to change the properties of glass or any block that absorbs an entity, um, effectively nerfing all relocation or elevation of blocks or item entities. So. Um, essentially um, that's what I'm worried about and um, so far 111 it still works 111 2 it still works so that's gonna put me in a real place to I, I can foresee any changes to this world before they come and deal with them um, the biggest thing that I am doing at present is mining out this big shape right here underneath the uh, 
the mountain. Um, it's for farms and I've already mined out this whole area underneath me here. Um, let's go down and look at that. Um, we have this space down here and this space up here which I believe is going to be villager trading and the the other space over here will be a pumpkin melon farm and this is so far this is how this has turned out um, I've gotten all the way down in there and I've gotten all the way up as far as I want but there is going to be some things I do to this area but um, not a whole lot um, well, I'll work that out when I get up there uh, down here the at the ground floor level which is actually oops, going to be down here um, all this has got to go there's a problem because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because if it's on this level um, essentially all of this in here is gonna be chopped off and I'll have to make a ceiling at this level um, or two blocks higher than that yeah so there's gonna be a new ceiling right where those torches are and I have to think about that so basically I think it's that block yeah or no nope, it's the one above it this block that's where the new ceiling will go which is not so bad that's that's four blocks between top and bottom one two three four yep that'll be good and that it's five blocks at this level so we're not looking too bad um, I just have to oops haste <laughs> uh, I just have to decide on what I'm going to do with, you know, it won't be this big cavern like it was when, and I dug all this out. All of this was dug. This was not a cave. I made it look like a cave. There actually was a cave system up there, but I removed the floor and this was solid. And, you know, there, there was a whole bunch of morphology behind my caving here. But essentially, uh, yeah, this this whole space is gonna kind of change, and uh, yeah. But um, we want to figure that out. Um, at the same time, I have all these aesthetic builds, such as the the giant. I don't know right now it's just a giant fuzzball like it's growing like <laughs> like a I don't know like a, a one of the tribbles or something <laughs> it's a giant tribble mother <laughs> but um, we're not gonna worry about those builds right now essentially I have to get trading moving so I have to build a village breeder and I've decided since this is 710 I'm going with a Tango Tech style village breeder and um, eventually and and the only reason I'm building a breeder is to get um, blacksmiths in my world before they update that way I can still buy chess mail I can still buy you know all the diamond wares and I'm gonna get like seven or eight of them um, so that I can essentially trade with them and open them up as long as their last trade isn't diamonds I'll be happy and that's the only reason I need to get them uh, get them opened up is to have their trades available on their their trade list they will act normally as 111 traders after the the upgrade however they will still have their diamond trades so that's going to be a very big, big plus for this world, um, being able to have them. Uh, I may actually have some left over from the uh, the other time uh, 
I, I have a bunch of villagers up there I may have to go through. However, um, until, until that time, I'm going to basically uh, be AFKing the iron farm, which does have a full array of iron, and I'm blocking it up downstairs. I have two collection routes. Right now, it's just golems over hoppers. Before, when I was filling this giant silo, I had uh, an item elevator that brought it up to the top, which actually was really cool. It was a system that was developed by Osrith Clay, and um, essentially, the the um, the way it works is we have iron that comes up the item elevator it comes out here it flows around this side until it gets over the appropriate hoppers and when it does um, it will basically be absorbed by the silo it goes over these this one hopper which used to be three and it goes down this first silo right here and then it comes across after that's full and it go, gets absorbed by these three hoppers and gets put into this silo over here um, the silo is then all the chests are registered each level by these comparators and a signal is sent out and it sends the signal to a block which updates this which powers these lights right here. Osrith Clay helped me to make this system so that it registers one level at a time so that is accurate it's not like the Tango Tech silo where every other one comes on by basically powering the two blocks around it you know each one is hot powered so it is accurate to the chest um, these are how Tango Tech's silo works is every other one but that can be done by doing essentially right off of the block um, right off of the comparator line which means that it powers more than one area around it and therefore you can only go every other light so I didn't want that I wanted to know exactly how much I had so that's why we went with that anyway um, it does mean a lot more space but luckily this build is more for aesthetics and kinda looks cool to have like some redstone showing and yeah, I think it's neat I, I like it and um, that's gonna be a permanent showcase right there and eventually we'll see our iron stores diminish and the all the doors up there once I go to 111 these villages will break so that's gonna be pretty much uh, that's gonna be converted into another type of farm I may actually put a breeder up there to make some sort of potato farm for trades um, because at that point farmers will be the best thing to trade with in 111.2 and this will become my village breeder up there and there will also be a smelter to go right above that to replace the iron into this silo um, but I won't have to worry about that until it's at least half low and that's going to be a number of years <laughs> I mean because each one of those is a chest of iron each one of those and then it goes and then there are hoppers to connect them so there's five stacks of iron ore in between every one of those chests too so that's a lot of iron that is a lot of iron and I'm really proud to say that this farm works <laughs> um, it's only a 28 village there are only 28 villages across there and uh, so it's it's not a very big overwhelming farm it does take some time 
compared to other Tango Tech designs. Um, <laughs> but at the time that I made this structure, I did not have the room on either side. And to, to make the full 44, I would have to remove some some of my map room and things like that that I didn't want to sacrifice. I just wanted to, I wanted this to be, um, you know, I don't need that much iron that quickly. I'm, I'm here all the time. And the only reason I'm, I'm really worried about it at this point is because I don't, I'm spending time at spawn because, uh, I've accidentally logged off in the nether before and broken the farm because spawn didn't load up when I log back in and that can break your farm I've done that twice so rebuilding this a fourth time is not it's not in the cards uh, want to be done with iron farms <laughs> so um, yeah I'm really happy with it um, what I'll do after this is I will essentially I'm going to make iron farms in all the corners of my world um, there'll be like two or three iron farms here at spawn single village iron farms and uh, they'll be powered by nitwits <laughs> <coughs> essentially nitwits have to have a purpose and there's going to be a nitwit uh, purpose <laughs> and that's to sit in an iron farm and just push buttons I guess but anyway I've spent a lot enough time on this video I will see you guys in the next one um, have a great great weekend later